Uh, joining me this morning with a little uh, little snowy morning commute. I'm headed up to work. Um, woke up this morning. We're supposed to get a little bit of snow to today and then a lot of snow tonight. Um, but running some FSD here as we make our drive here out of my neighborhood. I'm here in the early about 646 in the morning. But see if the roads are icy or not and see you know a little bit of snow covered and how the car handles uh obviously seeing the road and um running through some full self-driving here uh running on 13.2.6 fsd but good representation like like i said i've made a couple videos like this of how the car handles um on snowy roads and possibly slick roads. I don't know if they're slick yet. I just got to get going. So. But we're going to come up here, get on the state highway. Um, and let's see how let's see how they handle. But <clears throat> But it's always a good test, right? Because if we're looking at the world of autonomous driving and you know what FSD can do and unsupervised FSD and the idea of you know robo taxis and those types of things so Quick note here usually gets me into the other lane up here uh, to make this turn so today i did not want to do that don't know if it's because the roads are covered or not but it's being a little more cautious right there that's actually pretty good um, as it makes that turn kind of running down the middle here because the the lines are covered a little bit with the snow still running down the middle of the road i'm not sure if you can see that but yeah, if we, once we start getting into this world of autonomous driving and those types of things, with like I said, with the cyber cabs or robo taxis, you know, I saw Elon Musk tweeting about wanting to get uh, like the cabs rolling in uh, Austin. You know, so how, I mean, obviously, it probably doesn't snow a lot in Austin, but as it starts to progress out into the world, you know, how are these cars? You know, self-driving cars gonna be able to handle cities like, like here. This is Colorado Springs here in Colorado. Oh, here we we're stopping. Oh, I had to take over, so because it got a little slick right there. So there you go. Kind of ran that light change. It decided it was gonna stop, but it, we were sliding a little bit there, so I took over. I went ahead and went through the light. So, how are these cars gonna be able to handle if you're gonna have a driverless car picking up people and then let's say in situations like that um, you know but can it adjust for the speed right because you know conditions like this probably I mean like I said the road's not terrible you can see but in conditions like this you know should it be going five over you know the speed limit the speed limit's currently 50 we're running 55 Right, the light changes like that in normal circumstances. Sure, let the car stop, um, but I, I can feel it. That's why this is supervised. Um, so yeah, how are we going to progress this into the world to, you know, that the car is going to drive itself, or is there going to be some issues in conditions like this? Right, like I said, because this isn't terrible, but there's probably there are icy spots out here right now because it just started snowing a little bit ago, you know, and so the road itself is adjusting, and, and we're supposed to get some more, so maybe we'll, maybe tomorrow, give it a little bit more different videos that can show this when it comes to driving in the conditions. I made one a couple weeks ago um, that seemed very popular because, again, most people in this country not most, I wouldn't say most, but a good chunk of people in this country live in parts of the country where you're gonna get you're gonna get snow. So how is this software gonna handle driving in conditions with other cars? Because I tell you right now, living in this state, there's not some good, some not so good drivers when it comes to driving in wintry conditions. You know, whether that's they didn't grow up here um, in this state. They don't know how to drive. They don't know how to drive in these conditions, or is it more so some other factor?
factors that go with it. Because we better be safe, right? Because right there, right back there, screw it. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to take the car over. But as these get better and better, hopefully, let's say, who knows, by version 14, I don't know, maybe that's where Tesla's at with this. I'm trying to, you know, make the software a little bit better in terms of, you know, driverless cars. Is version 14 going to be the one that, that does it for them? Again, now we're going to come down a hill here. <clears throat> and, and cars are breaking ahead. slow down right it, obviously it's not going to know if the road's icy unless it starts feeling those tra those attraction pieces of it where it's going to have to adjust wheels and but to me for conditions probably going a little too fast personally i would not be driving this fast Uh, but we're approaching the interstate here, see what the interstate looks like as well, see how fast it, you know, what kind of um, adjustments it might make on the interstate as well. For this, I'm just going to get my hand on the wheel a little bit. Just to be ready, because yeah, now we're getting over in front of a truck. Yeah, we've had a you know night good temperatures yesterday, but a blast of cold air that's come in. You know, I guess Arctic air. So you know, how quick does it freeze little sections of the road? And um, you know, in the the late or the late afternoon yesterday into the evening, and then now into to this morning. So it's kind of what we're watching here, right? Those hard, quick freezes that that kind of come in because. I saw the wind chill this morning is like negative five degrees. So, but let's get on the interstate and see how this works or how this does. And I'm a little cold, so I'm gonna bust up the heat. Coming up here to turn to get on the on ramp for the interstate just above us. Typical drive that I've been showing you guys, so right, show this in different conditions and different times of the day as well. This snow falls. And this isn't supposed to last too much today, they said. And then tonight we get more snow. But we'll see what maybe what after work looks like. Maybe I'll pop up a, another video coming down. But double turn lane here. That car on my right is not in their lane. There, it kind of goes. Good thing around here is they picked up a lot of the construction cones that they've been doing in this area. And I know I've said it before in other videos, it's a pretty high pedestrian traffic area as well. And now we will merge, get onto the interstate here. Because it's bouncy today, jeez. But interstate should be fine when it comes to road conditions here. Looks like traffic's pretty doing pretty well. Wants to get over too, and then I'm getting. Oh, there we go. So there you go. A little bit more dicey than expected to get on the interstate here and see how fast we're going. You know, maxed out at 80. 
So I'm going to drop that, actually, because I don't want to go that fast today. But there you have it. So just a quick little 10-minute video to show you these conditions and um, how FSD works. Again, running version 13.2.6. But just kind of give you a glimpse of what it might look like. So, all right, until next time.